Cancer. Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Cancer placement. Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. The first message we have is, I can't do this anymore. Hmm. So immediately I'm picking up that this energy is coming through strong. But with this energy, it feels a little bit murky, okay? Honestly, I feel like your person is at this point where they acknowledge that there is a barrier to your connection here. There's been some type of blockage emotionally, maybe within, I'm getting that it's in the heart space, that is kind of acting as a barrier to you and your person really, really connecting on a deep soul level here. And I feel like your person is at a place where they're actually irritated or they may be frustrated because they feel like they can't get past this barrier here, okay? So I'm gonna pull some more cards to see exactly what it is because your person is definitely at a place where they've realized that something is kind of hindering you offer moving forward here, and they just can't do it anymore. They don't want to do it anymore, okay? So let's look, let's look further and see what's going on here. Wow. The next message we have is, I feel like you're slipping away. Hmm. So Divine Feminine, I feel like, honestly, you're at this place right now where you're looking over your life. You may be looking over the last couple of years of your life, and you really, really are beginning to feel as if you have created some type of barrier, okay, around your heart space as it pertains to love here. And I feel like your person is definitely picking up on this energy here. Um, I think your person is very um, reminiscent of the beginning. I feel like there's a vast difference between how you all operated in the beginning of your connection versus how you operate now, okay? I feel like there has been many things that have taken place within this connection that has caused you to either view your person differently and in turn, you're acting, you know, these emotions out on one another, okay? I feel like this is coming from both ends here. And your person is at this place where maybe this has gone unsaid for a long time. Maybe this is something that you've ignored, you tried to push to the side here, but it's rising to the surface because it wants to be addressed here, okay? I definitely get the energy that your person can feel you slipping away here. Your person can feel you not being as excited, okay, as it pertains to love here. Um, and I feel like your person really wants to know, you know, what is causing this break in the intimacy, okay, in the energetic exchange here, in the intensity within your connection, okay? I'm also getting that Divine Feminine, you're really considering or thinking about who you were before all of the hurt, who you were before the disappointment, not even with your person, but just at this stage of your life here, okay? Because you've been through a great deal of situations, you've been through a great deal of things and love, okay? And some of the things you were able to quickly get over, but some of the things have stuck to you in a way where it's reflecting, you know, in your personality, it's reflecting in how you speak, okay? Because some of these things you've held on to, okay? And, you know, I feel like your person wants to know what it is, or your person wants to know how can you get to a point to clear this energy, um, because they definitely can feel that things are not the same within this connection. You may, you may also be feeling this about your person as well, where you feel like, I can't do this anymore. I can't keep pretending as if, you know, we're being so real and we're being so open with one another. When I feel this blockage, when I feel like we're not as intimate, we can't have these, you know, deep, real talks like we used to, like, you know, Underneath all of this, I feel like there's a really, really deep love and a deep respect here, but I definitely feel that, you know, it's become a little murky 
due to the delays, due to the disappointments and this connection. And I feel like underneath all of that, you both are really, really missing one another here. Okay, and I feel like your person, if they can ask you anything at this time, okay, your person would probably want to ask you, like, when was the last time that you allowed yourself to really, really get lost in love without feeling like you have to protect yourself from them, okay, or just from anyone, or without feeling like you have to be guarded? When was the last time you really, really were open and ready, okay, to love and to be loved, okay? Wow. Wow. This is a really, really deep message here. This may not be for everyone, but if you've definitely been feeling just a little bit, you know, guarded or just a little bit apprehensive about really, really letting yourself be completely open, especially with your person here, I feel like you both are getting to this place where you're realizing that so much has transpired on your journey and it's changed you a little bit in a way that you both can feel but you haven't addressed this. And if you're feeling this energy, it's definitely rising because it's at a place where it needs to be addressed here. I feel like you both are really, really missing the versions of one another who you, who you originally fell in love with here, okay? Wow. This full moon is really intense. I had a feeling that this reading would be a little intense, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have you've changed. Yeah. I really, really feel that this is this is like a dual energy. I feel like you both are marrying each other within this message here. I feel like you both, if you had, if you really, really had the opportunity to look at your person right now at the stage of your connection, you know, there's so much love there. There's so much intensity, okay? Um, and this connection has already been confirmed and affirmed for you. You know exactly who your person is. Your person knows exactly who you are to them right now. But if you were to look your person in the face right now and be completely honest, you both will feel like the other person has changed drastically, okay? There's so much that has transpired on this journey here. And it's almost as if you're you're beginning to feel like strangers to one another. And, you know, instead of you addressing this, I feel like these emotions have been stuffed down. And it's kind of under the veil of, yeah, we love each other. We're twin flames. We're soulmates. You know, this is my person. But if you could be really, really real about the situation, I feel like you both are mourning your friend. You're mourning the person that you fell in love with. You're mourning that really, really intense, passionate, you know, fast-paced whirlwind love that you had from the first beginning here, okay? Because things have really, really shifted. There's been a lot of things that's transpired. There's been a lot of delays. There's been a lot of hurts here. And I feel like on both ends, there's definitely... um been some type of barriers that's been put around your heart spaces here. And I feel like you both are in this energy where you're ready to address it. You, you can't do it anymore, okay? You, you really, really wanna be loved. Both of your hearts are like crying out for one another here, okay, is what I'm getting. Because you cannot continue to go on and act as if this is normal, okay? It's not normal. You don't wanna be, um, standoffish towards your person or feel as if you can't open up to them and you can't be vulnerable to them. It's like you both really need each other, but because of the time, maybe the space, maybe the distance, okay, it's almost as if you feel as if you can't just fall into your person. And that is just, you know, mind-blowing to the both of you here because the, the bond that you have is so incredibly deep that it's just mind-blowing that, you know, you look at your person and you feel as if they're not a safe space, okay, when you know that they are. So I'm definitely getting some really, really deep, like, 
emotions right now. Like, this is really, really intense, okay? It's almost as if you both are realizing that just life in general has a way of just chipping away at your happiness over time, you know? And it's almost as if you become what you experience instead of showing up exactly as you are, you know? And it's almost like you're looking at your person and you can see the pain, you can see the hurt, you can see the delays or, you know, the broken promises. But what about the person that you absolutely fell in love with? Where's that person? I feel like that person deep down inside is begging to, to come out, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, I miss the way you look at me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so like emotional. <laughs> I don't know if this message is for everyone, but yeah, your person is definitely at this place where they miss the look of love in your eyes. They miss the sound of your voice. They miss the excitement, you know, when coming in contact with them. They miss that rush of adrenaline, that, that you know, just that eagerness to connect with someone who you literally felt was designed just for you here, your safe space, okay? And I definitely feel like your person is just at this place where if they could ask you anything, they just want to know what can we do so we can get back to that place? Because this state that we're in right now is so uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable to continue to act as if, you know, it's not normal for us to talk on a deep level or for us to express what it is that we're going through, even external to this, con even external to this connection, okay? For you to just have normal conversations and just engage with one another on a very, very deep level here. Your person is at this place where they're extremely irritated because it's almost as if you're supposed to be their person. And Divine Feminine, I feel like you feel this energy as well. You're like, if I can't talk to my Divine Masculine, if I can't be open and be raw and real with you, who can I, who can I do that with? You know what I mean? I feel like you both are just really, really pulling on each other right now because you just need that, you know, that warmth. Okay, that real, raw, authentic connection, that safe space, okay? And there's so many emotions, there's so many things that has transpired within this connection that is not even reflective of who you are today here. So you or your person may be holding on to versions of yourselves that no longer even exist because you've given each other room to grow and heal and ascend. But when you look at them, sometimes all you can see is the past. All you can see are, you know, the past hurts, the past delays, the, the broken promises, all of those things here. So it's almost as if your person is kind of asking for you to let them shed the skin here. Let them become new, okay? And release all of these barriers that are holding you back from really, really deeply just falling into one another here. Divine Feminine, you may be asking this of your person as well, okay? Because I definitely feel like this is like a mutual energy. You both feel it, but it's like no one will say it. You know, who's going to take the initiative to be vulnerable? It's like everybody, everyone's guarded. You know, there's so much that's happened at this point. It's like, do I even want to put myself out there? <laughs> but you both are at this place where you're like, if I can't put myself out there with you, then who can I do it with? Okay. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. We have, I don't know how you feel about me. Yeah. You both are in this energy. Where you have like this iffy energy about one another. Like, can I say this? Can I not say this? Can I be real? Can I can I go deep? Do I need to stay on the surface? Like, can I initiate the conversation? It, it's even to the point where 
you may be thinking, should I even reach out? Should they reach out? You know, it's just becoming extremely trivial at this point when it shouldn't even matter. You know, the love that you share is, is so beyond all of this trivial stuff that stands as a barrier to your connection. Your love transcends all of that, okay? It's higher than all of that here. So I definitely feel like you both are at this place where, you know, you don't even know how the other person feels, but the truth is the other person feels exactly how you feel. They absolutely love you. They absolutely adore you here. There's just been so much, you know, so much energy, so much, you know, negative energy, okay? Attached to past situations and past versions of you that no longer even exist. And it's almost as if you both are like really, really begging to go back to that place before all of that came and kind of, you know, had an effect on your connection or tainted your connection in some kind of way here. So let's get the last message. Yeah. We have, I need you right now. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is a dual message. This is definitely mirroring because I get the feminine energy and the masculine energy feeling this energy right now. You both need one another. And there's so much that's transpired that you're starting to question, can I reach out when I'm feeling some kind of way? Are they going to want to hear me out? Are they going to be busy? You know, just trivial things that really shouldn't matter within this connection. So I feel like this is really giving you a look into what your person is thinking right now and how your person feels. Maybe when you're at a distance, maybe when you all get to this point where there's so much that's transpired that you feel like you can't connect with your person or your person starts to feel like a stranger. Maybe you can't tap into their energy, okay? This is definitely what your person feels at this moment. They can't continue to go on and act like you're not important to them or act like you're not their person or you're not their safe space. They definitely want to engage with you, okay? They miss the way that you view them. Maybe so much has transpired that you view your person totally different. Maybe all you see is the negative. Maybe all they see is the negative, okay? This energy can go either way, okay? And it's to the point where I feel like you'll know this message is for you if you're at this place where you don't know how you feel about your person, it's been tainted in some kind of way, or your person doesn't know how they feel about you here. You both have changed individually, okay? And maybe you can't see that, but there's definitely positive change that's happened here. But there's some old energy, some murky old energy that's acting as a barrier to you going to the next level. So if you've been feeling that, this is definitely what it is here. It's time for you to release the older versions of yourselves and allow this new energy that wants to come into this connection to come in here, okay? But I definitely feel, most importantly, the number one thing that's sticking out to me is your person is really, really missing the version of you that they fell in love with. And I feel like you're missing that version of your person too, okay? So this is the message that I have for you all today. If you resonated with that message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.